hello and welcome to Fridays on FB. My name is Nita Brown and I am the owner and designer for Months Aware. I want to welcome you to uh, Black History Month. Happy Black History Month. And for those of you who are in Rochester, New York, Memorial Art Gallery is celebrating Black History Month uh, to, uh, on Sunday during Family Day. And Months Aware will be having a fashion show during that time. So welcome once again. If you are new to the channel, my name is Nita Brown, and I am the owner and designer for Mansa Wear. Mansa Wear is a ready-to-wear and a custom-made clothing um, shop and boutique and a design. I create gorgeous, elegant um, outfits using bold patterns and vibrant Ghanaian color prints. Our production is done in Ghana and our fabrics are also from Ghana. So our vision for Mansa Wear is we would love everyone to have a Mansa Wear outfit in their closet. And the goal is to mash up your Mansa Wear outfit with items already existing in your closet. So I'm going to switch the camera around since the show, today's show, it's about how Mansa Wear is sustainable and environmentally conscious and how we repurpose our fabrics for other items throughout the store. So with that, I'm gonna flip the um, camera around so you can see the shop. So for the past um, several, about almost four months now, what we've been doing is every two weeks we come out and show what's going on at the shop. It could be stuff we sell, it could be how you style, um, so you probably saw me wearing a scarf and it's actually one of, uh, we've sold it here before. It's a, a scarf that I picked up um, while I was in the UK. I do also pick stuff up as I travel that I think works with the shop. And so these are these gorgeous satin um, print scarf. They're 70 square inches wide. And you can see, you can do a whole lot with these scarves. They actually, uh, Bimba Yilola scarves. Um, so what we've talked about in prior years, we've talked about, we have these beautiful bracelets. We call them Toma bracelets. They're made of glass beads. So in prior years, we've talked about how the glass beads are made and, um, you know, how you end up in Rochester, New York. We've also talked about prints because I primarily work in wax print and these are wax prints um, and how the difference between a wax print versus kente, which is hand woven and why kente is so pricey because it's, everything is handmade woven, whereas wax prints are um, machine woven prints. So. Like I said today, we're going to focus on how we repurpose all these beautiful fabrics after we've used them, the byproduct of the manufacturing process. So I'm just going ahead and showing you what we have at the shop. And here are our beautiful cards made by a resident artist, Gianna Hoffer. And all these are custom made cards. Sometimes she uses remnants of our fabrics to make the cards as well. I don't think we have any right now so these are the cards we do have shorts here men's shorts very colorful and they're fun golfers love them so we have our men's shorts we do have fans well right now it's cold but if you're in a cold hot weather going to florida these may be the hot items for you so we also have tons of fabrics that you can use for head wraps and also for quilting so quilters out there these are really good stiff fabric that would not run, would not bleed, and would be great for Colton. Yeah, some more accessories. Here we have bow ties. And I'm just going to pan the camera around the shop. Some of the stuff we have, a lot of men's shirts. You know, the classic daishiki is here. And we also have... Um, hoodies, basically um, kente hoodies. And then we started selling aromatherapy. So we have our Shandini, 
which means inner peace. It's a Hindi word. We have it in lavender, in sage, as well as our Kaya Earth skincare. Kaya Earth is made in small batches, and they are made in Italy. So, with that said, I am going to now move on to our show today, which is about um, how we used our remnants of our fabrics, the purpose of them. So once again, if you are new to the channel, my name is Nita Brown. This is a 15, about 15 minute show. We do it every other Friday and it's really to connect with our fans and let them know what's going on at Mansa Wear and show them all the variety of stuff we have here at the shop and they may not be aware of. So you can think of us as you do your shopping for various items. And to this topic, like I said, it's going to be about what we do with our fabrics, the remnants of it, how we repurpose it. Um, I'm just showing some of the other accessories we have. We have these Afri socks, and these are made in Ghana, and we sell them here at the shop. So there's your Afri socks. But anyway, as we move, we are looking at... So after the production process... You know, we do have a lot of leftover uh, remnants of fabrics. And what we've done is we we use them for making accessories. So we have all kinds of earrings. And some of them are just button covered. Some of them, like this particular one, it strips of fabric that it's tightly rolled into an earring. And it does, most of these earrings come with um, matching necklace sets. Just wanted to hand some of them for you to see the detail of it so if you do have an outfit that you have from us and you love it guess what we may just have the earring for you here's another one so here once again these are strips of fabrics that are kind of rolled tightly and then created into a necklace right behind you is what we call the Alfie button necklace. And so it's fabric covered with buttons and they shaped in a Peter Pan and uh, circle collars, different ones. Here's another rolled fabric necklace. I'm gonna get close to it so you can see it. Voila, there you go. And all of them come with earrings. So you can see the amount of detail that goes in, the tiny strips of fabrics that have to be put together, sewn together, and then rolled. And here, I'm gonna pan it to our fabric. This is in solid color, so it doesn't always have to be print. You can also get in solid colors. Here are our Sankofa earrings. Those are not fabric, but they are laser cut here. And we now started having another one, the Jinami. So another way we also use a uh, repurpose our fabrics is to make beautiful headbands. So I'm gonna roll a word to the headbands. And as you can see, we have these fabrics and we roll them into headbands. And so, um, you know, you may not like an outfit, but you can always pick up a headband. They're great gift items for anyone on your, on your, um, for yourself or for uh, a gift. But today we wanted to really look at tote. So one of the things we had done during COVID as we we're making masks and we have a lot, I'm sorry, I'm trying to position the camera so you can see these tote bags. We're gonna talk about this tote bag right here. And I am going to position it well so you can see it. All right, there you go. So, as we were making the mask, we decided we had tons of scrap that had come out from the process. We decided to make these beautiful, gorgeous tote bags from them. Bear with me as I position the camera so you could see it well. Voila. There we go. So they're big, they can hold a laptop and your um, lunch bag as well. But if you notice, with you, they use, we use the quilting technique. And so it's tiny, 
different square, different shapes. Some of them like this, it's about seven and a half inches by four. Some are two by four. Some tiny ones like this. Oh, let me get it to you so you can see it. There you go. You know, some of them three inches by two. So all these fabric came from all the masks we did over COVID. And we made, I think, over 6,000 masks. So all these pieces were then put together. And we made, I think, about six or seven of these bags, these tote bags. Very durable. Ah, you can see, I use my almost every day. And you can see it has a wide base. Like I said, you can fit a whole, I put my laptop, I can put my lunch box in it. And the strap is very sturdy. It doesn't hurt, has a zipper. And it even has a key uh, tag so you can hang. Sorry, I'm struggling with this a little bit. I want you to see, hold on. Bad. Okay, maybe I'll lift it up. It has a key tag, so it's, it's zippered at the top, very sturdy um, handle, and it has a key holder so you can put your keys on it. Try and get it for you. Oh, there you go. All right, so this is, you know, one amazing way that we just recreated a whole new product out of Reminence. We do have. Um, different products. I think I've showed you the necklaces, the button necklaces, both button or rolled earrings. But I, I love the whole concept of taking, you know, quilt, the concept of quilting, and then creating this just wonderful, um, a whole look and style of, um, to create a, 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 a of a tote bag. Look how tiny these squares are. These are like one inch squares. And that all had to be stitched together. The amount of work it takes and the love it takes. When you are holding this bag, you really feel special. And it's a great bag. I'm actually gonna try and put it on, show you how it looks and feel like when it's on. Uh, so I'm gonna switch the camera back to me. There we go. So here are me holding my tote bag. Love it. It's great. Like I said, it holds my laptop. It's pretty big as you can see. Great tote bag. And we do more of this and more creative stuff as um, time goes along. I wanna thank you for spending time with us today. We are almost at the end of the show. We'll come back again in two weeks. Um, we look forward to seeing you and um, all our shows, just so you know, they are on our website under the media section or on our YouTube um, page. So all the shows we've done and we've done several, whether it's Kente, whether it's accessories, whether it's, you know, repurposing or how the beats, all of them, we house them. So we hope you will share us and share this video with um, your friends and your loved ones. And um, we hope to see you again in two weeks. Thank you. Happy Black History Month. Like I said, hashtag love red, love black. It's still going on. If you're in the Rochester area, actually, even if you're not in the Rochester area, since it's a virtual show, you can watch Monster Wears Fashion Show this Sunday. Memorial Art Gallery, it's uh, having celebrating Black History Month during Family Day. Thank you for being with us, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye-bye.